So for this video, we're going to learn about a new concept called constants. Constants are like variables, except that they can't change. Variables, they can be updated, their values can be changed over time throughout the program. But a constant always has to stay the same throughout the whole program. So why would this be useful? Let's see. Well, this program, we're going to write a program that converts, uh, it converts square feet into acres. So one acre is 43,560 square feet. So we're going to write a program that the user enters in the number of square feet that their piece of land is, and then the program will tell them how many acres that is equivalent to. So first thing we'll do is in all caps write acre. That is going to be the constant. So acre equals 43,560. So this is a value that is not going to change. An acre isn't suddenly going to be more or less. It's always going to be the same. So that's a good example of when you need to use a constant. So we'll make a new variable called square footage. It'll be, and this is where the user is going to enter in how many square feet their piece of land is. So it'll be a float. How many square feet is your tract of land? So the user will enter in this information here, and then we'll make a new function. We'll define a function called convert to acres. Can you guess what it does? It converts to acres, yep. And it'll take in the, uh, the user input variable that we just defined up here. So I'm just going to take this, copy it, and paste it right here, just for laziness. So inside of this variable, we will make a new variable called acres in tract. And it will be equal to square footage divided by the acre constant that we had before. So now we will just print your tract is, and we're going to run around this too like we usually do. So I'll do percent point two f for two decimal places after the ver after the uh, two two decimal places, um, and after that we'll do another percent and acres in tract comma acres and that's the end of the function so now all we got to do is go out of the function and call it oops convert to acres and with square footage in it so if i did everything right this should work so if i did everything right we defined our constant up here as being 43,560 square feet. Our square footage user input, so the user asks, it asks the user how many square feet is in their tract, and then it runs this function, the function calls here. So when this, when it gets to this line, it'll jump up here and it'll start running the function. So acres in tract, the new variable, is going to be equal to square footage divided by acre, which we already know is 43,560, and then print out your tract is acres in tract, this variable we just defined up here, and then the word acres. So let's see if everything works right. Let's run the program. How many square feet is in your tract of land? Let's say there's like 80,000 square feet. Your tract is 1.84 acres. That sounds about right. Um, let's just test it out. Um, I have over here, 87,120 square feet is exactly two acres. So if our program works, and if I type in or paste this, this information here, it should say two acres. Two acres, yep. And I also know that this should output five acres. So if we test it out with this, five acres. Okay, so the program works. So, you know, another simple program, but we introduced a new concept about how uh, how constants work and why they can be useful. They just act like normal variables, except they can't change. You really wouldn't want them to change. So there's some situations where you would need to use a constant, like, like for this. Um, so I think that's a good place to stop for this video. So I'll see you next time.